Hi, I'm Doreen Corrine. And I'm Matt News, and welcome back to Satirica. Today in the news, animal rights activists protest the poor treatment of marine animals in SeaWorld at a popular sushi restaurant. Another Florida man is caught wreaking havoc through the suburbs through indecent exposure, earning him a spot in Webster's Dictionary under the definition of anti-hero. their lives when it would appear that their venue of choice was held at Sushi Alive as they were protesting SeaWorld's poor treatment of their marine life. The leaders of PETA did, however, come out and say that there were plenty of vegan options at this restaurant, although this wide event ended with a lot of vomit when they realized the spicy mayo was not vegan friendly. It was also rumored that Ariana Grande, a spokesperson for PETA, ordered the California roll there, which contains crab. Such a shame that such an innocent girl is tempted by meat. Sometimes fish doesn't need to be in its rawest form to be beautiful. Take note, PETA. Webster's Dictionary contacted the Florida gent that afternoon, asked him if he would do the honor of being the example of anti-hero as his actions perfectly exemplified the trait. The man said, and I quote, This was a proud moment for me, despite all the third degree burns I got from the bacon grease, end quote. Uh, gosh, we're so proud of you, Florida man. He'll always be our favorite anti-hero, won't he, Matt? <laughs> I guess. Now a word from two anchors on the Warrior Report. The ginger and the one we kind of like. How do you think it's going so far? We just got here like three minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so bad? No, no, it's just, we're just chilling. Would you like to hear my philosophy impression? Sure. Okay. I just gotta get ready a little bit. How is the limo ride over? The minivan slash limo is great. What do you think FSPA stands for? Florida School Animals Production. Your mics aren't plugged in. I see you've got a skateboard there. Are you a, you a skater? Uh, a little bit. Not, not anything special, but I like to ride around a lot. Alright, so you casually shred the gnar? Oh, absolutely. Alright, we got a casual gnar shredder here. You're on the morning show. I already know. Uh, no, that's just some annoying loser. Uh-huh. That's you. What? No, I don't think so. That's you! Are you saying all gingers look alike? Because if so, I think that's, that's racist. That's racist! <gasps> racist. racist. Alright, so a lot of people have, saying, have been saying we look alike. Do you think you have an idea of why? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think it's good for us to just put, you know, our people in that kind of category like that when we all look alike, so... What does FSPA stand for? <laughs> I have no idea. It's actually finding self-purpose alone. So have you guys found your purpose? To be better than you. Sorry? How dare you step up into my interview and then try and say you're better than me. I know I'm better than you. If you ever say something like that to me again, I swear, I'm ready to pop in lock. If you don't, all right? So back off, all right? All right? Guys, okay, maybe I went a little bit too far. I. Uh, I've been Nat News. And I've been Doreen Corrine. And uh, we'll catch you next week on Satirico. I've been walking circles, lost on Sunday morning, trying to find my way back home. Cause I know I've been a stranger lately. I've been a stranger lately. I know I've been a stranger lately. Oh, that's where, uh, for a show, kind of like the star.